What shaking, Chewy Nation, Chewbacca. Let me hear back with another Madden 19 Ultimate Team ranking video. This one is going to be pretty straightforward. It's going to be from 1 to 25. No, not 32 because offense alignment are 26 to 32. Rank them however you want. But 1 through 25, we're not going to spend too much time on them. As much as I'm going to go as quick as I can, but obviously a little bit lengthy of a video. Let me know down below your top 5 or your top 10. Let me know also if I really just messed up really, really bad. If there's a card that you like, it should be way higher or should be way lower. Definitely let me know down below. But let's go ahead. Top 25 time. Like this video if you enjoy it. Let's go. Number 25, Keenan Allen. Why? 92 speed. Theme team can get that up to 99 if you run all chargers. John Madden and 50 out of 50. I already said that with Sprinter maxed out. There you go. You can technically get that to 99 speed. My, my DeAndre Hopkins actually has 99 speed, who also has 92, who has 92 speed stock. So it's possible, but still not great. No spin. Six foot two, solid size. He's he's solid, but no, no, you're not gonna run this unless you're running a Chargers team. Next, number 24, Harrison Smith. Also 92 speed, could get up to 99 on a Vikings theme team. Sure, he's going to be very good, good size. Why is he 24? Sean Taylor. He's actually the same price and better. Hard to reckon, hard to rationalize going with this Harrison Smith when you got Sean Taylor out there. Sorry, Harrison. It's just the Sean Taylor syndrome. He's so cheap that you really can't go with this card unless you just really like Harrison Smith. If your name is Harrison Smith or you are a Vikings fan. So he is number 24. Number 23, Blake Martinez. Why? 87 speed. You can get that with a lot of middle linebackers. You have Ryan Chazier sitting there. You may not even run more than one linebacker. Why would you run Blake Martinez unless you're running a Packers theme team? Even then, I think you might be able to get someone faster, maybe a little better. A nice, solid, overall middle linebacker. Looks all right, but thank you. Not interested. Keeping with the middle linebacker trend, we got Alec Ogletree, 88 speed. That is why you're number 22. Also, you did not have a good year. How are you the team MVP? I did not watch a lot of Giants football, but I'm pretty sure he was known to be a liability for the Giants. His pro football focus, like at linebacker, was like in the 80s or something. How is he the MVP? I, I don't know, but he's number 22 because at 88 speed and overall, he's a solid middle linebacker. He just got better options. Number 21, Jason Pierre-Paul. has got some nice tackling pursuit. Overall, solid, but the 84 speed just holds him back a little too much, in my opinion. There's a lot of great rushers out there. So Jason Pierre-Paul, unlikely he would make your team unless you're running a theme team. Uh, again, he doesn't have a power-up yet, so you can put him on the bucks. That's it right now. Overall, he could be okay on a, on a theme team. Obviously, he's going to be good. I just don't think if you're looking at it just without looking at a theme team, is he's not one of the best pass rushers. He's good. There's some that are better. Number 20, Josh Norman, sitting at six foot, not too tall. 96 zone, that's nice. Get that 99, 93 speed though. You got so many corners now that have 95 speed that can easily get up to 99 that anybody under that 95 is kind of hard to put on your team unless you are running, like I said, a theme team. That's a common trend with these, of course. But they're 97s. They should make teams. This guy, I just don't think there's really anything else. Really anything that really stands out to this. He's just he's just a, a card, in my, in my opinion. So, sorry, Josh Norman. That puts you at number 20. Number 19, Tayer Whitehead. 88 speed, 85 zone. That's really why he's lower than, than he than he would, would be if he had even 86. I would put him up a few spots. That 85 does not allow you to get to 90 easily. If you have him on a theme team that's 90 zone with, you know, crazy eye pursuit, the tackling, uh, you can, you know, get secure tackler on him. He can even pass rush pretty well as well. He can do everything. A nice 4-3 right outside linebacker and can work in a 3-4 with just hybrid possibilities, but 85 zone is the letdown, and that is why you're number 19. Number 18, Travis Kelsey. Honestly, I can't see myself putting him in much higher when you have a lot of better tight ends out there. And when you're talking about skill positions on offense, you're looking, one of the biggest things is spin. And if you can't spin, and this Travis Kelsey has 70, he's not going to be able to spin this entire year unless he gets a golden ticket with somebody specifically has the spin raised. But he just, he can't spin. Everything else is solid on him. But I don't think he's the best tight end between the MVPs. And overall, I think he's he's really solid. 89 speeds, you know, good for a tight end. It's not the top 
top end for a tight end, but it is it is pretty good. Overall, solid tight end, uh, tight end threat, but just he's just not game breaking maybe as some other guys will are. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Number 17, I went ahead and put them back to back. Eric Ebron, neither one really stands out. He uh, he can't spin as well. He's at 79. It is higher, but still not getting to that. He, even if you run, you know, all sorts of cams, I don't think there's any way. Well, there isn't. There is no way to get that up to 88. So he can't get that max spin. But 90 speed, a little bit faster. I think he's just a little bit better than Kelsey. He doesn't have a power up yet, though. But he will. He'll get one. And then I think they'll pretty much even with Ebron being a little bit better. So once that power up comes, I would I would much rather have Ebron's power up than Kelsey's power up. So that is why you're ranked above. Number 16, I got Malcolm Jenkins. Malcolm Jenkins, really kind of a nice card. It's really that speed that just lets him down. He'll be 95 speed, not on a theme team. You can get that higher. You can get it all the way up to 98 if you run a theme team. But 95 speed has 97 zones, so easily get that to 99. Great man coverage as well. 91 tackling powered up means he can get to 92. 90 hit power as well. A really solid card that really the only reason you're ranked low is because, one, one there's just so many good safeties in the game and that also have higher speed with only 91 speed. It's hard for me to imagine me personally using him. Not saying that speed's everything, but I probably would even go with someone you know, like an Ed Reed over this. There's a lot of good safeties out there. Jamal Adams, Cam Chancellor. There's so many good ones. Sean Taylor. I don't think he'll make the team, but really good outside of that speed. Really, really solid card. Number 15, Chris Carson. I've heard a lot of people say they really, really like this card. They're probably Seahawks fans. 93 speed, but he can truck, he can spin, all stock. That's what I like. I like that you can do it all stock. You can pick this card up. He doesn't have a power up. You pay the 500k, you use him, and then you sell him. You're not really out much. I guess you put Sprinter on him probably. But outside of that, you're really putting 1,000 training and 500k on this card, and then you can sell him when you're done. I really like that, you know? That's the way Madden used to be. Overall, really, really solid running back. Doesn't get to 99 speed, so you may not like him as much as other running backs that do get there, but just overall really, really solid. Great, you know, carrying. You're not going to fumble as much. Uh, you know, he can stiff arm. He can spin. He can juke. He can truck. He can do it all. Love the card. Unfortunately, the 93 speed and uh, just not as big, we'll say, as some of the other running backs. So that is why you're a little bit low. Number 14, Browns fans, Saints fans, Demario Davis. Has he played for anybody else? I don't know. There, here he is, 90 speed, which means 94 on, on most teams. So with the power up and sprinter in Madden. So you could get it up to 94. But uh, what do we like? We, we're, we're unfortunate sitting at that 85 zone, so I don't love that. But you see everything else. You know, he's a little bit faster than like the Whitehead, Block Shed, the Pursuit, the Tackling, the Hit Power. All that's really, really good. Unfortunately, like I said, if he's not on a theme team, you're not going to get that 90 zone. So you don't. He, he has that ability to defend the run really well and play coverage, but not quite as good as if, obviously, if he was on a theme team, he would be much better in my opinion. So he's not going to crack the top 10, but still pretty solid. 13, Jerry Hughes, 86 speed, pretty solid for an end, honestly. Miles Garrett also is 86 speed. I thought he would have been, I thought he was faster. It feels like he's really fast. 98 block shed, obviously, the pursuit. He's very, very similar to the Miles Garrett. So if you like the Miles Garrett, like this one is very similar. He has that, but he has the finesse move at 97. He has a power move at 90, but he doesn't have the trait for it. So you really, I think, gonna always be using that finesse move, which might be good, because it's already at 97, easily get that to 99. So Really, really solid card. Doesn't have the hit power, but really, just really like, I mean, 81 is not great. It's not terrible, but overall, really, really, really good card. Good pass rusher. The only knock is there's just so many good pass rushers. So maybe not great right ends. He's one of the best, but you could put a linebacker there that's going to probably be better at pass rushing. So that's why he's a little bit lower. Number 12, Joe Mixon, 95 speed. He can truck as well. I know it's only 89, but I don't know if it really matters if it, like the Chris Carson's being higher, uh, that much higher. You can still get that top truck. He can spin. He can juke. He can, you know, he can really do everything. And he's a little bit faster than Carson. That's really what I liked about him. He's not great in protection. That is something, you know, he's probably going to get shedded, which all running backs will. But maybe he'll get shedded a little bit more if you have him blocking. But overall, really like the speed. He'll get a power up. So he could, he'll easily be able to get to 99 speed on teams that aren't themed teams. So I like that. 
and the ability to do everything else. He's a little bit, I think he's like 10 pounds heavier than Carson as well. Uh, so that might come into play a little bit. But overall, really, really like him a little bit more than Carson. Maybe, maybe people would disagree with that. But he looks to me like he can truck, he can spin, he can do it all, as well as being a little bit faster. So really like this Joe Mixon. Number 11, as a Texans fan, I'm not gonna, he's not gonna crack the top 10 because of Michael Vick, but he is number 11 in my opinion. Probably the best right-handed quarterback. You could argue him with Mahomes, but obviously he's a lot cheaper. Also, what's really nice about this Deshaun, another guy who doesn't have a power-up, who is still really, really good. So you could pick him up, you throw on Sprinter, that's really the only thing you're paying for, and then you can sell him if, you know, when you're done or you want to move on. You don't have anything really invested right now. Now, he'll get a power-up eventually, but he has that great throw power. He meets all the thresholds. His throw under pressure is not great, but he has better better traits than Mahomes. So 89 speed as well. Vic's at 92, so he's a little bit slower. He's a little bit taller than Vic, though. So maybe you like that, but he can't spin like Vic. So really, what we, when we look at this, we're just like, okay, it's a right-handed quarterback. Vic is left-handed. Vic is still the best quarterback in the game. But if you want somebody else, if you want an alternative, Deshaun Watson is definitely one of the best quarterbacks in the game. And he's the only quarterback of the list. And he's really, really good. I've used him. I mean, he makes all the throws. So he, he's pretty good. I got him at number 11 because Michael Vick, he's not top 10. Top 10 time. Here we go. Number 10. I got another corner by the name of Xavier Howard. I personally really like him. I think he is a fantastic corner. Very, very good. And probably not thought to, as highly as he probably should be. 97 man, so he's a great man coverage guy. 92 agility, which I was a little bit higher. But he's got the high pursuit, 71 block shed. I have to believe that's one of the highest at corner. Uh, the, the zone's not quite there yet at 93 zone. So if it's not a theme team, you're not going to get it to 99. But everything I really like, I really like this. He's 6'1", so he's got some really good size on him as well. Really just overall really, right, how many times am I going to say really? Really, really good corner. <laughs> So I, I just, I really like it. I think he plays really well as well in the game. And it's just one of those feel things. I think it's probably more about how I play more so than what he does. But for me, I really like him. So I have him at number 10. What do you guys think? I, I think this could be, you, I personally think he's a really good corner uh, in the game. But maybe, maybe I'm crazy on that one. Number nine, probably my most anticipated card of the entire promo. Not named to Sean Watson. Is that crazy to say? John Johnson the third ever since I used him in draft champs back in like August when I start I played a little bit of it his core elite just played so well for me but I never had him on my team but he just really liked this card 95 zone power you can easily get that to 99 without uh and I just locked down in John Madden so you don't have to do anything there he doesn't have power up but he will uh 91 man so over 90 good enough the pursuit is 95 the tackling at 90 we want to see that 92 unfortunately hit power at 96 but does not does not have the big hitter trait so he's not gonna cause any like cpu hit sticks you're gonna have to do it yourself but overall really really good card the only reason i don't have him higher is because there's another safety that i like better and that's higher on the list and that just because they're the same price you can't rank them too high because of that like you have a better one out there so I, you could argue I should even have him lower than that. But I really do like John Johnson the third. I think that 6-1 size, really, really good. 97 agility as well. It, it's just, the card just plays so well. I don't know how to explain it, but it just plays really, really well. It's more of a feel thing again. Uh, but John Johnson the third, so excited. I wish you had 92 tackling. That's the only thing. But still really, really good. Number eight. Number eight, Jalen Smith. Now, Originally, I had him pretty low. I, a lot of people said that, you know, this was one of the best. And I actually thought it was not as good as people thought it would. I, before it came out, I'm like, he's going to be a beast. But then I seen it and I started thinking about it. And I'm like, we have Ryan Shazier. People are going to get him to 98, 99 you know, soon. And he's basically better than Jalen Smith on everything. So you have, or yeah, so you have a Ryan Shazier out there that is basically, you know, better. Plus the black shot at 79. So you could run a safety at linebacker and such. Why would I have him so high? With all that said, it's still really, really good. And not everybody wants to run three safeties on the field. Some people want to have linebackers. Some people just want to run regular 4-3 without putting safeties in there. Or 3-4 and put linebackers in there. That, not everybody wants safeties. I personally don't know if he would see the field for me because I can get better speed. The block shit at 79, you know, it's not like he's giving you a lot in, you know, run defense and getting off blocks and stuff. So to me, I'd probably just put a safety in there. But I think there's a lot of people out there that would say, 
I love being able to have a linebacker that this athletic with the high zone, the high man, and 92 speed for a linebacker is really good. He also has good finesse move and power move, and it's just, he can re he's really, really good. It's just the problem is linebackers are just undervalued this year because of safeties being able to be put at the position. I spent a lot of time on that, but I wanted to make sure it was clear that I personally don't know if he would make my team, but I know that a lot of people like him, so he's number eight. Coming in at number seven, number seven, Kenny Galladay, 95 speed, as well as pretty much everything route running wise, really, really good. He's overall, he's a big guy as well, 6'4", and just, yeah, just a great card, right? But why is he, you know, why, maybe he's number one for you, or maybe this is about right. I'm not sure, you know? Remember, leave your rankings down below, but to me, though he's really, really good, there is so many wide receivers that are really, really good that can also spin. And spin is really nice, especially like right when you catch the ball, if you spin, at least that's what I'm, t you know, just spin. I, I like to do it, but my receivers, I'm running like a lot of techs and stuff. They can't spin, so it's not as it's not as good for me. But if you're able to spin with that tier three spin, that's really nice. He doesn't get that 88 spin. How many times am I going to say spin? It, he, he is a really, really good card. A golden ticket for, of him will be one of the best wide receivers in the game. He's already pretty solid, so just something to look out for. If somebody makes one, cool, that will, I would definitely be interested. But right now, 95 speed, obviously really good, really, really solid, really, really good wide receiver. He's just not, uh, because that spin is why he falls a little bit under the other wide receiver. Number six, we have Khalil Mack. Khalil Mack, an excellent pass rusher, also 89 speed. He really can do it all. Also, you know, can drop back as well. But you do have Julius Peppers, and as a spy, I mean, he's the best spy in the game. So um, he's probably not going to be used that way. But, you know, great, great, great pass rusher in real life, in real NFL, and in the game. That 96 power move, obviously, easily get that to 99. The pursuit, the tackling, just the, combined with the speed as well. He's going to be really, really good. If you run an all Bears team and Sprinter max out, and all, you can get him up to 96 speed. You can get about 96 speed. There's not many pass rushers that can do that. The 95 LT can, but there's there's a few that can, but that's pretty insane. And so he's definitely one of the best. The only reason he's not higher is really because of Julius Peppers. You got the 95 LT. You got another one, a pass rusher that's going to be above him. There's just a lot of pass rushers, as well as if you're talking about a spy combo sort of thing, you have Julius Peppers. That's, you know, the, the very best in the game. So he's not quite there, but still really, really good card. Coming in at number five, I got Marlon Humphrey. Now, the reason he's ranked ahead of Howard is really just that zone coverage, uh, 96. I can easily get that to 99, which I'm told is important. Uh, 95 speed as well. Uh, so you can get that up. Uh, you, know, you can easily get that up. But overall, what do we like about this car? Well, he's got 83 hit power. Does not have, does not have the big hitter trait. So again, uh, he's gonna he's not gonna cause hit sticks by just the CPU doing it, but you click on he's gonna be much better than like a Dion uh, getting those hit stick fumbles. So that's good. Doesn't have the pursuit as well as the Howard, but really the reason I like it is because of the higher zone. You got the 95 speed, and uh, the Howard is to me besides that better. I like the high pursuit on Howard. I love that card, but the fact is the the zone 95 speed. I mean he's he's really really good. If you have a theme team, obviously he's going to be absolutely insane. But he's already really, really good. One of the best corners in the game, Marlon Humphrey. Number four, we have Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry gets the number four spot with 94 speed and then everything else, which is absolutely insane. He also comes in at 247. If you haven't played against this card, you're, you're lucky. It's, he is a beast to take this guy down. The big size, you know Henry cars are just so tough to take down. And his stats, he can spin, he can juke, he can truck, he doesn't fumble, and he's also got 94 speed. So if you just power him up and do all your stuff, you're going to get that up to 98 on your team with Sprinter and Madden and stuff, which most people are doing. If you're on a Titans team, obviously you easily get that to 99, or just even 25 Titans, you can get that to 99. But for me, even at 98 speed, he is the best running back in the game. Now, he's number four because I don't think there's that much difference between the top guys. Like, you have Todd Gurley, you have Saquon Barkley, you have Ricky Williams, even the guy we just get for free by leveling up, and other running backs as well. But 
when you're looking at it, even if you just pay the 500k, you pick him up, pay 500k, you put Sprinter on, don't power him up, Sprinter, John Madden, you get him up to 97 speed with all that other stuff, he's he's a beast, you don't even need to power him up, he's he's so good, I mean, 500k and you got the best running back in the game pretty much, without doing anything else, he's insane. Number three, I got Antoine Bethea, 96 zone, 90 man as well. I think what I like most is the 92 tackling. I'm a secure tackler guy. So John Johnson, unfortunately, didn't get it. If I said that earlier, he didn't have 92 tackling. If you want to know why I want 92, you get secure tackler. If 91 would have been okay as well, because once he gets a power up, you can get that secure tackler. But nope, because they gave him 90. So this card, 95 speed. As well, he doesn't have the size of John John. He's only 5'11", but that's not too short. But he also has 90 man. So you can man him up as well with great speed, the zone, the tackling. So you can put secure tackler, 96 pursuit, 93 hit power as well. So he can lay the boom. Again, no big hitter trait. So you got to make sure to click on and, and lay the hit stick. But just overall, an ins exceptional card. Antoine Bethea. I don't know. I didn't think I would say that. That Antoine Bethea would have one of the best safety cards in the game. But the ability to have secure tackler, the ability to have 90 man, easily, obviously, he's already got 90. He's going to have 99 zone, and he's going to have, you know, 90. he's got 95 speed stock, so you can easily get that to 98. I think really, really good card. That's why you're number three. Coming in at number two. And as a Falcons fan, I'm sure maybe a little disappointed that Julio got another card because he just got a 95. Like if J.J. Watt got the 97 for the Texans, I would have been disappointed. Thankfully, Watson got it. But it was Julio Jones that did get it. And he just got some plus ones, right, on the 97 from the 98. Or sorry, from the 96 power up. Like it was just plus ones. Uh, the 95, you know, a few plus twos in there. You know, it's not really anything, but th those plus ones mean a whole lot. What it means is 94 speed, so powered up, up, get the 98, not even running a Falcons team. He's 6'3", has 90 plus in everything, 97 spec catch, 95 catching traffic, insane catching stats. Also, the big thing being 83 spin move, powered up 84, zone run 87, Madden can get it to, nine, uh, to 88. He reaches the spin threshold rather easily. I know that sounded like a lot, but if you just put zone run on him, you, if you power him up, you probably have everything else you need. And he's at 88 spin move, which is the threshold, which means he's one of the few top end receivers that can spin. And probably if you do all of that, he's right there with the top wide receivers in the game, like your Julios, like your Mosses. And like now, you're Julio Jones. So, absolutely insane card if you do that. Uh, I know not everybody's going to do that. If you don't do that, I think he's more, you know, he's right in there with Kenny Galladay. But I'm assuming, you know, they're all going to have power-ups. The best form they can get. Not theme team, because I know not everybody's running theme team. But outside of that, powered up and such. What could this card be? And uh, and just on a, on, any, on a great team, this card is going to be insane. So, Julio Jones, number two. And number one, Vaughn Miller. Another one that probably wasn't quite due for an upgrade, but he already had a, you know, what, primetime performer, I think it was. That was pretty good. But we get a Vaughn, and he might be the best pass rusher in the game. I think he is, actually, thinking off the top of my head here. He has 90 speed, so let's just, again, powered up 91, Sprinter 93, Madden 94. So a lot of teams would have him at 94 speed. If you're facing a God Squad, they probably got him at 94. You run a Broncos team with all that stuff, too. you can get him up to 97. That's insane. But also, 98 power move. Obviously, that's going to be 99. He's going to have 95 plus finesse move. His pursuit's at 97. Tackling 96. Hit power's 94. Block shed's 93. Everything is absolutely insane. He, he's not a coverage guy. That's really the only... I mean, but you're not going to use him in coverage. He Everything else is... He's the, the best in the game. He's the very best pass rusher in the game. He doesn't have the big hitter trait. I keep saying that about a lot of these cards, oddly enough, which stinks. At least looking at my head, he doesn't have it. So that hit power again, you're going to get the click on hit stick. He'll he'll cause fumbles, but the CPU won't do it for you. But I, I mean, what else? I mean, that's, that's that stinks, but it's basically the perfect pass rusher at this point in the game. So he is my number one. I, I think I'm pretty... That, that I'm putting my foot down as to me like I think he is even way above Julio especially because you can just pick him up and you don't even have to power him up he's still gonna be really really good so number one Vaughn Miller
That's the list. That is the list. That's the top 25. Well, really, it's 32, but the offensive linemen were ranked 26 to 32. Rank them however you want. Put Shaq Mason or whoever else was there. You know, it doesn't matter, okay? They're they're good. Pick them up. They're, they're the best offensive linemen in the game. You know, they're, they're going to be good for you. But I ranked the 25. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know your top five, top 10, whatever you want to give me, or where I really messed up. If there's somebody that I really messed up the ranking, like like Keenan Allen should have been a top five guy. Let me know. Also, I'm sure there's somebody in the middle there that you probably could argue could be like top five. They're all really good. They're 97 overalls. So of course they're good. But thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you for 40K. Thank you for everything. If you enjoyed the video, a like would be appreciated. Subscribe if you're new. And that's all I got. Chewbacca Lemma.